This fly is a Griffiths gnat, and I'm going to start off with a size 10 dry fly hook, and I'm just going to begin to wrap my 8 dot black thread onto it. I can snip off the extra thread. And now I tie this with a, an indicator post, and I'm just going to use a white piece of foam to give me some more visibility. So I've just cut off an, maybe an 8 inch, eighth inch section of foam and I'll begin to tie that in on probably about the front two-thirds from the back of the hook and just tie this in just like you would any any post not a necessary step but I'd like to have some additional visibility to it Alright, and now I can start to add in my next couple of ingredients. And the first thing I'm going to tie in is my hackle. And for this, I like to use a grizzly hackle for my for the leg. So I'm just going to pick out a, a hackle that matches the size of the hook. And for these if you get if you get longer that's all right too so I've got my grizzly hackle and I'm just gonna start to peel back the the bottom section to give me a good tie-in point I'll snip the bottom of that and then I can just start to tie this in all the way to the back and I'll tie this back to the to the bend of the hook I'm just gonna make sure all the stems are in so I'll tie that back up to the front And once I'm happy with that, then I'll come back through and add my last piece of material, which I'm going to use four strands of peacock curl. Get my strands here, and then I'm just going to clip the bottom. And tie that in. To the side of the hook. Make sure it's secure all the way down and then bring that back up to the front. Alright, now I can start wrapping my hurl. I'll just take some nice even wraps. Build that body up towards the front. This will help stand that post up as well. And when I'm pleased with it, then I'll just tie that off in the front. Okay, now I can start wrapping my hackle to the front. And same thing here, just nice even wraps all the way to the front. I'll do one just behind that post and one just in front of it. And when I get up to the top, or just behind the eye, then I'll tie that in. Pull everything back and just start to make a thread head. Nothing real substantial to this fly, just enough to hold everything together. And I'll end with a whip finish. Then I can start to clean this fly up. Notice I had a, one fiber that got caught in underneath. I can take off my stem. And when I take off my stem when I've got hackles, instead of making a, a cutting motion, I just leave my scissors open and then hold that tight and just start to push it through uh, so I don't have to worry about cutting off the rest of my 
rest of my hackle. Now I'll just lower this post to about the same height as as the fibers there. And from underneath, the, fly, or the trout aren't going to see it, but from up top it gives me just another another piece of uh, visibility to this fly. That is a Griffith snap.